A quick link in the description to our sponsor, SpeedCubeShop.com, where you can buy all of your cubing needs. Use code OMEN for a discount. Hey guys, so if you guys are wanting to start learning Megaminx PLL, whether it's for the glass layer or full PLL on Megaminx, this video is going to help you a lot on how to get started and make it to where it's not so overwhelming. I'm really like into Megaminx PLL. I, I just think it's super cool how you can just do OLL and then see this case and do one algorithm and you're done. It saves a lot of time um, and it's definitely gonna be worth it in the long run. So yeah, let me just uh, show you guys how to do this. So first off, I'm gonna have a link in the description to this Discord called the Megaminx Solvers. And in Megaminx Solvers, there's gonna be a uh, channel underneath the important category and it's gonna be mega resources in the most recent message here there's gonna be um, a Google Docs called Megaminx resources go ahead and click on that and whenever you click on it you're gonna you're gonna have links to a bunch of different stuff you have starter resources s2 orders improvement efficiency example solves last layer etc etc honestly all the information you need for Megaminx and is in this Google Doc so if you're pretty new, go ahead and check out the videos from the starter resources. So if you want to get started with last layer, make sure you know for look last layer. Uh, I learned my OLL algs and my PLL algs for for look last layer from the cube skills for look last layer sheet, which those algs are fine. Some of them are not as good as uh, some newer algs that are out, but um, most of them are fine. And once you know the 15 PLL cases for for look last layer, you can go ahead and s click on the James Megaminx OLL and PLL. Now once you click this uh, link, uh, everything's going to be kind of small, so I, I blew up the web page to 150% and I made the zoom in the Google Doc itself 150 And in the PLL grouping section here, you have CPLL, you have EPLL, you have block larger than 2x1, etc, etc. So CPLL is permuting just the corners. So A, E, K, and H are all PLLs for four look last layer. So if you want to learn your four look last layer PLL algs from this Google Doc, you can just uh, go off of A, E, K, and H. And then there's also an order here uh, in this info box at the end. It says. Once you learn for the class layer, then learn U, Z, Q, T, Y, N, B, D, F, W, M, V, J, P, R, G, C, S, I, L, and X. So the reason why this is really important is because at the bottom of this uh, Google Doc, you'll have info, OLL, and PLL. Uh, you click PLL to see all of the algs and cases. Everything is in alphabetical order, so A, B, C, D, E. Um, so that's why it's really important to know which PLLs to learn in order because you don't want to go alphabetical order. That will be uh, kind of a nightmare if you go in that order. So going back to the sheet here that I made, um, I just wrote everything down in this notebook and I just taught it Megamix PLL guide to help with me. So um, I wrote down the PLL like A perm, E perm, H perm, K perm. Those are all four the glass layer. And I wrote down the order so I don't have to refer to this Google Doc every time. <laughs> and um, so basically, <laughs> this just helps me like stay in order and like stay on track of this whole thing. Because there's a lot of freaking algorithms. Like we're talking 151 PLOs here. So I wanted to like stay consistent with this. Uh, so for like last year, I, I just broke it down to like this is 15 cases, EPLO is 11. Then I did the rest in like three columns here, 35 cases. And every time I'm done, every time I'm done learning uh, all of like the K perms, for example, I, I write a check mark and I highlight it yellow to show that I've done it. Um, and then whenever I'm done with a full case, I put a check mark and highlight it to show that I'm done with this whole category here. Uh, and I wrote everything in order, in the same order as that is recommended into this Google Sheet, uh, or from the Google Doc. So now I'm starting T perm. I did all the T perms, so next I'm doing Y perm. 
And then going back to this uh, Google Doc, giving resources with all the links, you can click on Orchestra's, kind of a funny name, PLL Recognition Guide. So go ahead and click on that link. And this is really, really helpful to help you um, recognize the cases of the PLLs. So for UPERMs, for example, we have U1 here. And it's going to show the case image and it's going to show the key recognition. So it's going to highlight how there's two complete sides and then it's going to show that there's headlights here and the color of the headlights is the same color as the edge to the right, the right side. So that's how you would recognize the U cases. So if you have a hard time um, figuring out how to recognize the case, like you can't figure out a pattern on your own, definitely go to Orchestra's uh, traditional Megamates PLO recognition guide to help you out. As for consistency of like working on your algorithms, you don't want to get burnt out. So what I mean by that is like, if I were to like grind the crap out of algorithms for like weeks and weeks on end, I would probably be learning like eight cases a day at least and then like 10 cases. And this is kind of what I did whenever I was starting to learn um, PLL. Actually, no, sorry. When I was starting to learn ZBLL on three by three. Um, and ZBLL, there's so many cases, like so many. There's like 72 for each set or something. Yeah, so I learned like 30 something ZBLL algs in like a week and a half and I instantly got burnt out. So to avoid getting burnt out learning algorithms, start out learning two algorithms a day. That's what I did. Um, and then some days there's going to be algorithms that are just really easy to learn and recognize and memorize. So uh, then on those days you can learn three or four. But if they're complicated, you know, just bare minimum, learn two a day, and you can learn full Megaminx PLL in like two and a half months. Um, really not that long. Like if you take 151 algorithms and divide it in half, it's like a month and a half. And in the grand scheme of things, like a month, two months and a half learning full Megaminx PLL is pretty fast. Like I would say that's that's pretty good, but you would have to be consistent working on it every single day. So if you miss a day, then you just have to make sure and learn four on the next day. But yeah, hopefully this helps you guys out on learning Megaminx PLO. If you have any questions, make sure and ask them in the comments and I will try to get to you as soon as possible. Uh, one last thing to note on the doc sheet, I forgot to mention that there is a PLO trainer that's really, really nice. Uh, and it's gonna be right underneath Orchestra's uh, link, it's gonna be Rainers or Reiner's PLO Trainer. Go ahead and click that and it's gonna look like this. Top left, just select cases and then you can search for all the PLO cases you want to. And then it'll give you the algorithm for a random case that you selected. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one.